boys and girls, Dr. Boone here. I'm so glad to have an opportunity to share a word with you. And you know what I was doing uh, before I began talking? I was eating some of my favorite snacks. It's just uh, mixed nuts. And if you were here and you said to me, Dr. Boone, may I please have some of those mixed nuts? And you know what I would say? Of course. And you know what you would say then? Thank you. We love to hear please and thank you when we are giving and receiving things from others. It's called using good manners. And we like to hear it because as human beings, we like to be respected and we like to be appreciated. That's very important. Now I told you today was a very special day and now I'm going to tell you why. Today is Pastor Gilead's and the First Lady's 10th anniversary at our church. Yay! And just like every student needs a good school and teacher, every Christian needs a good church and pastor. And with Pastor Gilead and First Lady, we have that. For 10 years, they have been our rock at Miracle Tabernacle. And we're so happy to celebrate. Now, I want to talk to you also about the scripture, Luke 17, verses 11 through 14. And I'm going to just paraphrase it a little bit because, again, uh, leprosy is something that we see going on in this scripture with 10 people who came to Jesus and asked to be healed of their disease of leprosy. Leprosy is a horrible disease, boys and girls. It was so horrible until people had to be separated from society, family, friends. They had to live in what they call a leprosy colony because it was so contagious, so terribly contagious. Sometimes their fingernails will fall off and sores all over their body. Believe me, boys and girls, not only was the disease terrible, but being ostracized, that just means separated from family, friends, and society, it was emotionally terrible as well. Well, these 10 persons heard that Jesus could heal people. He had the ability, so they heard. So they came to him, all 10, and said, please, please heal us of this awful disease. And you know what Jesus did? He healed them. And when they were healed, oh, they were so happy. They were wonderfully, joyfully happy because now they could live with family and friends and not be ostracized, their bodies made whole again. Well, after Jesus did this wonderful thing, boys and girls, only one, one out of the 10 came back to say, what? Thank you. Only one. And Jesus, when he realized that only one was back, he said, but didn't I heal 10 of these uh, persons with leprosy and only one has returned? And you know what Jesus said? to the one that came back, by your faith, you are healed. By your faith, you are healed. Now, why is that important? It's important because Jesus is saying that what we ask for in the name of our Savior, that God will heal us by our faith. We must believe that God is going to heal us. By your faith, you are healed. Isn't that wonderful, boys and girls? But Jesus did not say that he was angry because the other nine didn't show up. But you know what? We all know that it could not have been a good feeling to do something wonderful for 10 and only one say thank you. Now, let's bring this back to the celebration today with Pastor Gilead and the First Lady. I told you it was our 10th anniversary. How are we going to say thank you? Because we're not going to be like those nine that ran off and never said thank you. 
Pastor Gilead and the First Lady have done wonderful things for our church. We all could talk and talk and talk forever about the wonderful messages and the wonderful things that have happened because they are our leaders in church. Well, one thing you can do is you can just say to the pastor and first lady, thank you, we love you. You can also write it on a thank you card, something similar to this. I bet you will find some people are going to actually present them with a gift. It may be in a gift bag like this. And what others may do, boys and girls, is you may see that some people may choose flowers because flowers communicate, I love you, I appreciate you, I'm glad you're here. So there are many, many ways to say thank you. The most important thing is to make sure you say it in the way that you feel it the most. And Pastor Gilead and First Lady will not stop loving and caring for us if you forget, but we know it just makes the heart feel joyful when there is some appreciation. Thank you, boys and girls, and don't forget to say thank you, Pastor Gilead and First Lady. We love you, and happy anniversary. Bye-bye.